Hello class. Uh, I was looking through articles. I didn't really like the ones that were in the past couple of weeks and so, but I, I like this one. Although I personally don't have any tattoos. I know tattoos is a very large part of a lot of people's culture in Hawaii, uh, but uh, I thought it was an interesting one to pass on to you. There's also some historical parts of this, at least United States history. So uh, this article deals with uh, whether or not uh, what's on the label and tattoo inks, if they're actually what's there in the bottle. And uh, so this kind of leads back to the formation of the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, as part of the you know, one of the regulatory arms of the uh, the federal government. And uh, with with this, well, the the formation of the FDA actually came from which is colloquially known as the the Pure Food Act, and uh, this was around uh, the um, around the start of the nineteenth century and. It was really, it was kind of tough because uh, people didn't used to report what was in food and you really didn't know. Uh, and I mean, there were lots of things going on. So for instance, uh, milk, farmers were getting milk and milk can go bad pretty quickly. So what they did is they put formaldehyde in the milk and then the milk tasted sweeter and people thought, oh, well, they're getting nice milk, and, and instead, you know, children are drinking a nice cold glass of formaldehyde. And even sometimes they were taking uh, brains of animals, typically calves, and, and blending it up and, and putting them in water and and putting that and selling that as milk. So that's kind of a disgusting thing. And, and like, people could do this. It was no big deal. You could do whatever you want. You could add whatever you want to food. And uh, what happened was people were suffering. People were suffering with really bad stomach aches, especially. I mean, it was really easy. Like a lot of people died of stomach issues. I mean, if you if you look in literature, uh, I mean, not necessarily literature in terms of like, uh, I mean, like whatever stuff you study in English class. But, but in general, uh, I mean, the number of people that had ulcers and and the number of people that had gastrointestinal distress, it was just huge. And uh, it's a really good thing that we had this law passed, and, and uh, it, it really put a lot of accountability to, to, um, to governments, or not government, to, to uh, companies to say exactly what's in products, you know, exactly what's in. And, I mean, there's some interesting stories, too, like uh, Heinz Ketchup, for instance. They had clear bottles, and this was a big deal because... They were saying like, hey, I'm making a nice product. You can see it. You know, you can trust that this is safe to eat. And because it's really, like I said, it was a gamble. When you're when you're buying food, if you're buying any sort of food, it's it's kind of a gamble of what you're actually going to get. And I mean, we also didn't have pharmacies like we have now, right? I mean, a lot of drugs uh, that you could just buy a lot of and and uh, it drug usage was not looked the way it is today. It was looked in the in the past. And and I mean, for instance, a lot of times people would drink um Laudum, which is basically it's codeine mixed in alcohol. And I mean you can get it anywhere. It'd be like going to Long's drugs and like, hey, can I get some aspirin, you know, some uh can of peanuts. Oh, and give me one of those gallon containers of Laudum. You know, and, and I mean that's what people did and they take it and they drink it. And uh so uh another one of my my favorite uh, stories is Wyatt Earp. His his wife uh, she she was pretty much a chronic user of Laudum. You can also see that's a true story. You can see that in in uh, in Tombstone. Uh, but uh, that well, I shouldn't talk too much about that. That's uh, but a lot of people, like I said, they they took various drugs, and and uh, it was a gamble. And uh, we are a lot better today, but there are still some things. And one of them, like I said, in this article shows is tattoo inks. There's a recent one, Modernization of Cosmetic Regulation Act, passed in 2022. And now uh, we're given, FDA was given uh, authority to call rink, ink products, require reporting for adverse effects, and require ingredient labeling to be updated yearly. And specifically, there are these ingredients here, propylene glycol, polyethylene glycol, 2-phenyl uh, so these could call as allergic reactions. Uh, I mean, they're mostly safe. Um, 
they it depends on the dosage of course i mean this this isn't cyanide you know or botulin toxin you know something uh i mean i certainly wouldn't want to have these injected into my body uh but i mean they're they're uh they're not great but they, these are not also they're they're not they're not super horrible but um actually well this one here the the phenol ethanol is going to be that's going to be one of the nastier ones propylene glycol polyethylene glycol this these are these are okay ish but i mean like i like uh i mean compared to other things and, and like and i i certainly would not want that injected in my bloodstream but uh but propylene glycol is found in fireball whiskey so if you ever drink fireball whiskey you are consuming that um it is toxic and at a high level and the cure for this toxicity is actually alcohol so uh fireball whiskey um it's either banned or has a different formula in europe for instance they're a little bit more stringent than we are in the usa for this but this is an interesting raid uh because uh it uh Shows you something we've, we've discovered, you know, so using, so now that the FDA has, uh, as, a, as part of its job now is to look at things like, like the inks here, the, the tattoo inks, uh, now they're finding some of these things and, uh, that's troublesome. And, uh, like I said, I've, I've don't have any tattoos. So I don't, I don't know what it's like, but I know many people do have tattoos and I haven't heard of, I, I don't know about allergic reactions to tattoos either. This is not my. Like, it's not my, I don't have experience for it, and it's also not my area of expertise. But it's interesting. I, I hope you enjoyed the article, and hopefully it's something close to you and something you can relate chemistry to. So, which is why, what I'm hoping to be like, why am I studying this, this subject? It has nothing to do with me. Well, you know, I'm trying to tell you it actually does, but I know that's part of the reasons for the videos that I do these, do, do every week. The other reason, of course, to check in with you guys and to see how you're doing uh, let me know if you need anything, if you're having a tough time with anything. Mental health, mental health is still uh, a big thing. People are suffering from mental health issues. Please let me know if you're having any mental health issues. If you have any basic needs, uh, fortunately, as I said before, basic needs. I mean, they're, they're still a problem for many people, but it's not as bad as it was during the start of the pandemic. Uh, I know that I, it shouldn't affect us too much in Hawaii, but there was just recently a um, a, a crash in in Baltimore that a, a shipping a, a container ship hit a bridge and collapsed the bridge. That can cause uh, some some issues as far as supply chain, but I don't think it's going to be too severe affecting us in Hawaii. Uh, it's going to affect people more in in or uh, in around Maryland and the. East Coast, but not too bad because there's the ports of uh, Philadelphia, New Jersey, and New York. They're, they're higher flow than Baltimore. It just will put a little bit more strain on the rail system that we have in the States. Uh, also, gas prices are going up. Uh, that's because of the Russia-Ukraine war. Uh, Russia, uh, Ukraine is striking the Russia oil uh, producing facilities, and the capacity for oil production dropped about 10 to 15 percent in Russia. So uh, oil prices are going to go up, and that usually drives inflation up. I don't know how long that's going to go, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, political-wise, the United States have asked Ukraine to stop striking the oil uh, refineries, so I don't know. I don't know if they will. I don't know if they won't. Uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen in the prices in the long term. Well, we'll find out. Not sure, uh, but hopefully I'm not stoking your anxiety there. I know anxiety is uh, at least of the uh the the mental health issues anxiety is is the one that has risen the fastest so uh so look after yourselves please look after yourself look at your mental health if you're having uh basic needs issues please let me know if you're having academic issues please let me know i hope you had a nice spring break and i'm going to, i'm getting close to the 10 minute mark so i will be quiet <laughs> so Aloha, take care. Oh, and tomorrow is a state holiday. Tomorrow, Good Friday, is a state holiday in Hawaii. So have a, a nice day off uh, and have a nice weekend. Aloha.